Hello fellow Digi Scrappers and welcome to my tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to work with shadows on a separate layer. Sometimes you're working with an element and it's all one piece. As you can see here, my frame is. This particular frame, a cluster frame that I created, has many different components to it. You see here we have beads, we have the ribbon that hangs down, and a nice little rounded frame for our photograph. Now, Photoshop gives you the ability to add a drop shadow to this frame. However, in doing that, your drop shadow is going to be pretty much applied to the entire image as it is. For this particular image, I don't want that effect because I want this portion here of the ribbon to appear as if it's actually popping off the page. While I would like these beaded elements and the frame portion of the ribbon to remain a little more flush to the page. I'd like to give it a shadow depth, but I don't want it to appear as if it's floating off the page as I would like to with this hanging portion of the frame. So here's how we're going to do that. And I am using uh, Photoshop CS2, but this technique will certainly work in any version of Photoshop that you're using. And here's how we're going to do it. Double click on my image to open up the, uh, the style catalog or alternately you could also use this little button here which will open it up as well. Um, and we're going to go, let's move this out of the way here so we can see what we're actually doing. We're going to go to drop shadow and you can see already something nice has appeared. Basically what we have here is exactly what I would like to have along the frame area and along the beaded area. Perhaps maybe a little more elevated, but we'll get into that in a moment. Um, let's see. Also, what I want to do here, what I was telling you, is make this appear as if it's floating. So what I'm going to do is adjust my distance. Now you can use your sliders here to adjust the distance that you would like it to be and looks like that's about nice. Or you could come here and just click on it, make sure you have your move tool selected and drag your uh, drop shadow where you would like it to be. This looks great to me. You can see already that this is taking on the effect of a floating element. The leaves are nice and pronounced and off the page as well as the ribbon and of course again so is the frame and the beads. I'm going to adjust my size because I want it to have a softer shadow so that looks great to me. I'm going to adjust my opacity And here I have achieved exactly the effect that I'm looking for. Everything appears to be floating nicely off the page. So I'm going to click OK. And there I have it. Now what I'm going to do is move the drop shadow onto its own layer. What you're going to do here is go here. Pretty much you're clicking right on this little arrow. And I'm using a Wacom pen tool, but I'm pretty sure with the mouse it's basically the same. And you're going to go down here. So what I did was I clicked on my little pen tablet to, to make this drop down appear, but I guess you would click with the mouse. And um, go down here to create layer. You can see we've only had one of these effects applied. Now this technique works for all these effects or most of them anyway. If it doesn't it's going to give you a prompt and say that some of these effects may not be available. But you can use this technique to edit any one of your um, components here that you had applied to your image. So create layer there you have it now you've got your new layer it's called layer ones drop shadow and it's right here now what I'm going to do 
is go click on my layer to activate it and I'm going to start removing some of this drop shadow only on the places where I don't want it to to appear mainly the inside of the frame here so that I can have it sitting a little more flush and these beads that are floating out I'm going to you could use your eraser tool I suppose but I'm going to just quickly use